All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And uh, we get a lot in store for now because uh, the show never ends. We just they enter the second gear. I tell you, I say from the top stories to the newspaper reviews, Eju Guchukudi was with me to look into the major uh, topics on the newspaper. And right now, we're going to be talking to uh, someone very, very exceptional. His name is uh, Dr. Balogun Rotimi Olatobosun, and uh, Honorable is also a politician. So we're going to be talking about politics from a different perspective. Uh, welcome to Good Morning Ninja Show, sir. And uh, it's good to have you today on the show. Yeah, good morning, sir. Welcome. All right. Okay, so looking at it, uh, we, it's, it's a tradition on the show to always ask my guests how they are doing honestly. We know there's a pandemic. A lot of things have changed. Unexpected things happen to industry. So we'd like to know, honestly, how are you doing, honestly? I'm doing great. And uh, we thank God the pandemic. Uh, Nigeria has been able to manage it very well. Yeah. Uh, it's not that, um, that bad the way we all was expecting, and um, the mm. world was sat like on us too. Mm. So, d do you ever think we would get back to the previous normal, or we're just going to start living like this is the new normal? Mm, well, um, it will be very difficult to get back to normal. Mm -hmm. um, we have been trying to see how well the uh, virus can go away, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. we've not been able to uh, get rid of it totally. Yeah. So the, if you can see the lockdown uh, has been eased in phases, so that uh, we could at least get part of our normal life back. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so uh, that being said, let's uh, get into the conversation of today. Now, we're talking about politics, as it may, and you are in this uh, uh, sector, you're in this part, this industry. Uh, a lot of Nigerians have lost uh, confidence and hope in politics. They feel that it is a, it is a, a, a game that is not honest, and the same way they condemn this game they don't want to be involved in politics. Why do you think this is happening? And if I'm always complaining about something, why don't I want to be involved to change it? But this is a major concern with Nigerians, and they talk about this every time. So we want to hear from someone who is in this uh, space and understands the whole process as it is. So tell us, what do you think about that? Well, it's um, so interesting to know that um, a lot of technocrats and a lot of um, well, many Nigerians don't want to get involved in politics. Mm -hmm. uh, before now, I had that same idea. I didn't want to have anything to do with politics. Yeah. I didn't want to have anything to do with governance. I just want to live my private life. Yeah. And um, if I'm okay, definitely, I believe everybody around me, my family and loved ones, definitely be okay. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, with the recent events and um, activities around the country. Uh, if you just hold your hands, you don't know when you will be the next victim. Because yeah. every individual that has fallen victim to one attack or one situation or the other, never envisage that it will come to them. Mm -hmm. uh, today, most of them now are rather um, mourning or regretting mm -hmm. that they have not Lend their voice in the system. Yes. Today, most of them want to know what's happening in Nigeria, and they want to be part of it than ever before. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that drove me into politics, that if we get involved, if quality and uh, credible minds yeah. get involved, that we will we'll definitely take this country to the next level. We will not leave it to the, those miscreants that mm -hmm. have been running it before and have granted the system. Mm -hmm. And today you can see all what has given birth to unemployment, yeah. lack of good, uh, uh, no, no good health care, mm -hmm. electricity, no electricity. At the end of the day, we're just living as if everything is normal. Hmm. Now, interesting that you made mention of a system. Now, uh, because they say even if uh, someone who has uh, the, the, the mind of the people or the hearts of the who has the people at heart gets into politics, there is a system that stops them from actually uh, going there to actualize their, 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 um, their intention of trying to make uh, the society better. There's a system that controls how everything runs. So even if you come with good intentions, 
the system would not allow your intentions fly. Is this true for someone who is in this system? Well, um, it depends on how you see the system. Hmm. For example, now we keep shouting that you should build uh, a credible institutions. Yeah. The system we have, we don't have credible institutions in the system. That's why you can see that when a good man gets there, the system will want to either mess him up mm -hmm. or treat him not to be able to perform. But if you want that system to work, you have to start working on the institution okay. so that we are going to change the narrative of how these things are being operated. Mm -hmm. Every institution has rules and regulations. There must not be a sacred cow. If you go far to the institution, rules and regulations, you should be dealt with mm. without having this godfatherism and a, a, a man no man syndrome. That is what has killed and has made people that are supposed to perform not be able to perform in the system. Hmm. Now, speaking about the godfatherism you, you mentioned, uh, to some extent, they say it is almost impossible to eradicate that because uh, most times uh, young politicians who want to get involved come in with good intentions, but for the position at which they probably want to you know, uh, contest for, they need some certain amount of backing financially, um, for someone who speak for them, someone who would take them through the process. So this godfatherism you mentioned is almost part of the system. Now, seeing that that is a major issue when it comes to trying to reconstruct the system to be positive, how do you think this can be eradicated, seeing that godfatherism is a major part of the system and it's also a major part of the problem, as you, you pointed out earlier? Well, um, Godfatherism, uh, everywhere in the world, there is uh, Godfatherism in politics. Okay. Even in America, that we, we, um, we are copying their democratic uh, system. Yeah. Now, uh, what they do is that they, they play it low. They don't sing it the way we uh, make it so obvious in this part of the world. Hmm. What they take it as is they use a word called mentor. They okay. don't use the word Godfatherism. God okay. Oh, this is a mentor. They are like, this is the people that we are looking up to to be able to at least uh, uh, get into the position because they too have an ideology mm -hmm. that they have been living for. And imagine that ideology, that mentor will, will be ready to put his finance mm -hmm. down to be able to support his own ideology to continue. Yeah. But in this part of the world, it's a business. It's not an ideology. Mm. If you notice the way they, they, they run the politics in Nigeria, is about, I invest 10 naira. You must give me 100 naira yes. on you. Yes. And it's not supposed to be so. Um, the ideology of Baawolowo uh, was to give Southwest uh, economical power mm -hmm. through education. Mm -hmm. Today, can you say that same system is working, is working in the Southwest. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not working. It's not. Because automatically, those that claim that the, their mentor, that they have the ideology of uh, Paolo, are they still holding on to education? Mm. No, they are not. If they are still holding on to that education, by today we will not be in the position we are in Southwest. Today, most of the miscreants that are dropped out, that never even see the four walls of institution yeah. they're having the upper hand in them hmm. it's 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 quite so unfortunate where's the ideology so where is, that's why god for that reason team is not in the best light for us because they are not uh, running it the way it ought to, to have be been done least okay so yeah. it's just because it's not run properly that's why it's an issue but uh, like you said, uh, in uh, more developed countries, they are seen as mentors and not as godfathers in the, in, in, in the yes. space. Now, speaking about uh, one other reason why Nigerians still don't believe in politics or the, the common Nigerian wouldn't still believe in politics, they say that uh, when politicians want your, 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 your support, they come up with so many promises. So many things they say they will do. They would go get into power and make sure the citizens are comfortable. But when they get into power, it's the other way around. 
they make themselves comfortable and they almost neglect the citizens' uh, request and situation. So, looking at this, um, this as, as, as a point of uh, conversation, what do you think uh, informs this situation? Why do you think the politicians would come out with all these promises and get into power and almost neglect everything they said? And it will now look like what you said yesterday is not what you are doing today. So why do you think this happens? And how do you think this can be uh, worked on and to gain the, the, the trust of the people back? Well, um, uh, let me come up with this narrative. Even the people themselves, do they really know what they want? Hmm. The Nigerian people, do they really know what they want? You see, when people come and give you promises, please ask questions. How do you want to go about it? Hmm. Where will you generate the finance to run these uh, promises you are telling us about? Yeah. Where will you get the funding? What? How creative are you in your present life yeah. that you've added value to the system that you run yourself and you're promising me something? You can't give me what you don't have. Hmm. You must give me what you yourself must have uh, uh, put in practical, no matter how small it is. You see, what I discovered about our uh, um, uh, politicians is that most of them, yes, they must have run one or two businesses or worked in government circles. Yeah. Please, how productive have they been before they get into politics? Are they making positive change mm -hmm. in their environments? Are they making positive change in their businesses? Mm -hmm. And if they are doing that, definitely is telling you that if they run Nigeria, Nigeria will do what? We have a positive change. Yeah. But not that you don't come out and say because somebody has one integrity that uh, you see, integrity is character. It's nothing more than character. If you have a bad character, there's no way you will definitely make it. Mm -hmm. If you have a good character, it lives with you anywhere you go to. Mm -hmm. And it's... everything you put your hands into, definitely the best will come out of you because you've already set the pace ahead of every other uh, 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 individual. True. So now, what makes these politicians go back to, because someone that cannot perform from his own little way, yeah. gives you a promise, he gets to power, and he, he sees that as a monster, he will not be able to deliver. Hmm. True. Because he, he will keep bringing excuses, and those excuses is not what he must have campaigned with. Do you think if they come in and campaign with excuses, they will, anybody will vote them in? Hmm. True. Nobody will vote them in. So Nigeria should start asking questions. What do they want? Do they want a standard uh, life? Do they want to live in? A, 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 they want to have a good roads. Do they want to have good health care? Hmm. Do they want to have a, a good education? They should start asking how will they generate funds? We have a lot of mineral resources up and down there that we could develop. Intellectuals are here. India, India does not have any resources, mineral resources. Yeah. They are living on their intellectuals. Today, the MD of Microsoft is an Indian. Hmm. Go to most of the companies in Nigeria, their IT uh, uh, personnel are Indians. Yeah. And they are repatriating billions of dollars in, in their economy back home. Do you think we don't have them here? Hmm. And we are busy chasing young, young boys and girls that they, they claim they are doing yahoo yahoo. Do you know what that means? Hmm. If you could change their mind positive impact into IT. True. And you know in the world IT is one of the highest paid jobs. Yes, today. it is. Yes, it is. So definitely, why don't we go into and uh, go into that and tap that for our own youth? Hmm. Now Are we just pick them up? It's, it's really good that you're pointing out this. Uh, you said, what do the Nigerian people actually know what they want? If they do, they will be asking the right questions. When these politicians come up with these uh, manifestos and don't uh, um, um, leave through them at the, in, in the course of their service. But um, let's even talk about the voting aspect of how these politicians or, or how politicians are being elected into office. A lot of Nigerians are not even interested in voting these days because they feel it doesn't count. 
that if you want to vote, they already know who is going to win. They already know themselves. They, the, what they, the elections are just for show. Uh, people just come out so that they, they show who they want to put there. So these are the conversations that have been going on with uh, citizens and back and forth regarding voting for who they want. Now, what do you have to say to this? Uh, that narrative of the vote doesn't really count. They already know who they want to put in the office. For someone who is in politics, what do you think uh, this in the narrative is about? Is it true or is it just false? Um, sincerely, um, my own take is, well, it's uh, on a 50-50 note. Okay. Um, the uh, masses that the voters have to do their own part because, sincerely, they are the one paving way for these manipulations. Okay. Imagine you registering your uh, uh, for a voter ID card mm -hmm. and you end up not getting it. Definitely, you've left the vacuum somewhere. Yes. Now that vacuum will be used by the politician to count numbers because in that environment they believe okay, ten thousand people registered, registered. or five thousand registered in mm -hmm. this environment. Mm -hmm. Out of five thousand, only two thousand showed up. And when they are going in to count those votes, they will want to make provision for the other 3,000 to favor who they want to win the election. Hmm. If Nigerians start getting this electoral system serious, that they, they know this thing could change their life, and they should shun money politics, the major thing we have is that our people are so poor that ordinary 2,000, the last election exposed a lot of things to me. After my election last, uh, uh, that's 2019, I discovered that they, this politician deliberately wants Nigerians to be poor. Yeah. Because imagine during the lockdown, people were screaming, crying, they need support. Mm -hmm. Nothing came directly to them. But do you know during the elections, I was in the polling booth where some of the thugs that they, they, they elected or they selected to mm -hmm. uh, mount the poll for them yeah. were sharing. 5,000, 3,000, room to room to go and vote a particular candidate. Hmm. So why don't they that same money come out when these people need it the most? So to tell you that we, the voters ourselves, we have to do what? We have to rescue Nigeria. Hmm. We are not ready to rescue this country. Everybody by at this point should go and register and get their PVC. And after getting the PVC, they should ensure they pick their own candidates in their environment and support that candidate. It's not about money. The amount we spent over the period of this uh, 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 crisis is far, far more than what they offer to us during the election. Yeah. That's so why totally are we deceiving true. ourselves? That's totally true. Why are we deceiving ourselves? Hmm. I know how much I used to pick my card periodically. Now that money, if I can get good roads, it will reduce my, uh, uh, my my repairs going to my cars and the mechanics. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, who is losing? That's why I got involved. Mm. Because definitely can't be watching the system like this. We can't. Mm. So as it seems, I believe uh, you are in support of every Nigerian who wants to get involved in politics. They should just get up and get involved. Uh, now. It's, 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 uh, it's one thing to always probably want to um, exercise your, your voting rights as an individual, but it's another thing to want to get involved into the political party system. So it, knowing that, okay, right now I'm involved in a party system that can actually um, bring forth a candidate or me being a candidate on that party system, on the, uh, with that political party. Now, the argument there is... It is very expensive to even get involved in that party system and be relevant enough to be able to vote for any position of office. Now, for a regular young Nigerian youth who is probably, uh, who has passion for the country or passion for his uh, society and wants to make a change, but he has to get under a political party system to be able to make his voice heard. Now, the amount of money he's going to need to push himself up there, he doesn't have it. Now, the, the argument is, it's too expensive. It is too expensive for, for, for the young people to get involved. It's too expensive. Why is the system not even created to accommodate the young Nigerian youth who has passion 
to be in politics, but doesn't have that finance to be in politics. Why is there a system like that that is, you know, that, that is making sure that a young Nigerian who is who is probably um, just trying to make a change in his society cannot even fund himself through that system? Why is there a system in place like that, and why do you think this is happening? Uh, because I think this is one of the major reasons why young Nigerians shy away from even getting involved in politics. They say it is too expensive. What do you have to say to that, sir? Um, so, sincerely speaking, you are really, really uh, voicing the minds of the youth, because I've met a lot of them, and they'll tell me, ah, me that they don't, they have not even collected my salary, or I'm expecting to collect a salary that is not going up to my minimum wage, mm -hmm. and you want me to get into politics. Um, sincerely, uh, we still have to go back to the people. If you could remember when Obama went to take to run for the presidency of the United States of America. Yes. He does not have that kind of capital to run for that position. Mm -hmm. But because his community, the society he lives and he has been, believes in him. And they know if we could raise just one dollar, one dollar to support Obama, mm -hmm. Obama will definitely go far. Yes. And if you could remember that campaign, a lot of Americans came out yes, they and did. donated and supported Obama. Mm -hmm. See, let me tell you something. If we continue like this, because the, the, you see this confederalism thing, they don't want to see, uh, let that go because they want to do what? They design the system so that those that even have few money will not be able to meet up to their own strength and capacity. Yes. Because they want to continue business as usual. Hmm. And it's starting with the next generation. Mm -hmm. And if we continue like this, you will be so shocked that before even at their dying beds, those uh, 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 godfathers yes. at their eighties and nineties, they have the money. They will still be selecting the young folks among us that they will be manipulating in their dream mm -hmm. and sleep too. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to help the country. So we, the people, should do what? We should stand up and stand behind our leaders. In my speech, in my community, I know a young man I can pick and say, this man, if I entrust this thing with him, yeah. he's going to perform. But because that man does not have money or does not have the influence, everybody die away from him. Hmm. Now, the same man that you know has a personal character that must have maimed or still or do that's the same person because the money he has yeah will come to the community and everybody will be singing his praises and what do you expect from mm -hmm. him when you get to drop you want miracle to come from him it's not going to work that's wow. why i said what do the people want is the people is the, uh, that's nigerians what do they really want mm -hmm. is it the money that the politicians teach out to them periodically or they want good standard of living or they want good health care or they want employment. Hmm. They are the one that will decide what they want. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rotimi Balogun, for this conversation. It's been very, very, very insightful. And I believe that we were able to touch uh, most of the questions and the cries of the Nigerian citizens and the youth in the country regarding politics, because um, we need to change the narrative of politics being a dirty game. Politics is for a selected few. They don't want to get involved in politics. And you were able to answer these questions uh, for us. And I believe that people who were watching, they must have gotten a lot out of this conversation. Conversation. We really appreciate your time on the show uh, this morning, and thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for this, sir. All right. Have a lovely day. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.